One of the activities that I found to be the most engaging for my students is case studies. Case studies are basically narratives or scenarios that allow students to apply theoretical concepts to real-world situations. One very interesting fact is that it makes the material come alive and much more relevant to students' lives. In this video, I share with you how I use case studies in my classroom and show you examples and resources to find a wide range of scenarios for your own teaching. So, let's dive in. Case studies aren't just an effective tool for teaching, but they're also super fun and engaging for students. They develop critical thinking, problem solving, and decision-making skills, and give the students the chance to work together, discuss and debate alternative solutions, and improve their communication skills. Now, I know there are a bunch of different terms used to mean the same thing, like the case method, problem solving method, and scenario activities. But honestly, I think the main difference lies in the level of detail and the instructions provided to the students. So, to keep things simple and avoid confusion, I'll be just using case studies as a general term and show you the different variations. Broadly speaking, most case studies involve the analysis of a specific problem or a situation, identify potential solutions, and make recommendations based on their analysis. Here are some examples. One of the topics I cover in my general education course is SWOT analysis, which stands for strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. To help my students fully grasp this concept, I use case studies as one of the main activities in this lesson. Here is what I do. I put my students into groups and give each group a scenario that describes a college student. Then, I ask them to identify the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for that particular student. Finally, I have the group suggest resources that the students in their scenario could use to address any weaknesses or threats and make the most of their strengths and opportunities. It's a really fun and engaging way that makes students think creatively and critically. Let me show you another example. In the past five years, I taught college composition courses. Here is a scenario for an, an argumentative writing activity. In this example about the pros and cons of online learning, we have two friends, Jasmine and Sarah, who have totally different views on the topic. The students read the text and answer questions such as what arguments did each character make? What evidence did each character provide to support their arguments? And so forth. I also use case studies in our campus professional development workshops. Here is one that I recently used when I facilitated a session on Zoom about student motivation and engagement. In these scenarios, I introduced two college students Emily and Robert, who are facing different challenges. Emily is a first-year college student who has always struggled with academics. She often comes to class late, and when she does show up, she is frequently distracted and disengaged. Robert is a high-achieving student. However, he has recently lost motivation and is struggling to stay engaged in his classes. He frequently misses deadlines and turns in assignments that are incomplete or poorly done. As you see on this Zoom whiteboard, I asked the attendees to identify the factors affecting Emily and Robert's motivation and come up with possible solutions for each of them. Now, let's explore some resources for finding scenarios to use in your case studies. 
I have three great recommendations. Number one, websites. There are a lot of great resources available online for different disciplines. In most, you'll be able to access some cases and teaching resources for free, but there are other cases that will require payment. Here are a few suggestions. Harvard Business Publishing. This is an excellent resource for educators teaching business and management topics. They offer a large selection of case studies that can be adapted to fit different disciplines. National Center for Case Study Teaching in Science. Science teachers, this is for you. This organization provides a variety of case studies that are specifically designed for use in science classrooms. These case studies cover a broad range of scientific topics and are designed to encourage critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Teaching Channel This website is an excellent resource for all educators regardless of discipline. They offer a wide range of resources including videos and articles that provide guidance on how to use case studies effectively in the classroom. In addition to these great resources online, my personal two favorites are the students themselves. You don't always have to search for case studies online or in books. Sometimes the best resource is right in front of you, your students. For my SWOT analysis activity that I showed you earlier, I gathered SWOT analyses that my students had previously done on themselves in past semesters. By analyzing the common themes that emerged from their stunts and weaknesses, I was able to create scenarios that were relatable and engaging for my current students. Of course, I removed any personal identification information to protect their privacy. This approach is a great way to make case studies more relevant to your students and it can really enhance their learning experience. But if your students' submissions are not rich enough for case studies, here is another resource, ChatGPT. Now, the most effective case studies are the ones that feel authentic and grounded in reality. But sometimes it can be quite challenging and time-consuming to generate suitable case studies. ChatGPT is a powerful tool that you can use to get interesting examples in no time. Just give it a good prompt with what your goals are and it will provide you with unique scenarios. And the best part is you can keep refining the prompts and asking for variations until you get exactly what you are looking for. So, those were my tips and resources for using case studies in the classroom. I hope this video gave you some ideas for your own teaching. If you have other suggestions for resources, please post them in the comments below. Take care and I will see you in the next video.